Hi guys! In this video I want to explain how we can use this model with your clients. What is your benefit? It costs a lot of money and you have it on your desk, but yeah, what is it for? There is a wonderful video from Tom Myers sitting in his sailboat and there is a lighthouse passing by in the background and with the tensegrity model, a little bit a bigger one like this, He's explaining the principle of tensegrity, that the single parts of a tensegrity structure don't touch each other. But how can I transfer this model in, into my body? What does it mean for movement? What does it mean in my spine, in my body? And this is why I created this model. With each client I use it, to widen, to open their mindset, that they understand that the single vertebras don't touch each other. Once a teacher of mine told us that we are a water-filled balloon and within this water-filled balloon the bones are floating and the muscles are arranged in such an intelligent way that we can move this water-filled balloon as fast as possible to where we get food or where we can reproduce ourselves. Our body, our skeleton, is not designed that the bones touch each other. When they touch each other, then we have a severe problem. Also to my yoga people I explain when they do, per, for example, Trigonasana, the sideband, they shouldn't move in a manner like this, because then they can imagine, even when you do a twist, then the discs slip out at the side. So it's better to, pr to try to, to do a side bend like this, so that you have the opening of the spine. Always think in terms of opening, where I can open a joint during movement and not thinking in contraction. This is also what rolfing is about. I'm working as a rolfer and we do, do a lot of movement stuff and how we can arrange our body better in the gravity field of the earth. So we think of expanding ourselves from our midline and not contracting. And this is the first step I do with each of my clients. I show them this model to give them an idea that our spine is perhaps a little bit different than, than the wall, than, than a lighthouse, how Tamaris is describing it. And I hope I can help you with this video to explain the principle of tensegrity, this, this bouncing body, to come back to this floating feeling in movement to your clients.